So can you tell us what happened today? So we had our eruption as planned, as forecast. Um, we, we evacuated in time, so there were no fatalities. So now we're looking at the we're looking at the deposits left behind, and um, the interesting things that we're we're seeing both up slope but also down here is that we're we've got in this experimental flow recreation of, of a lot of things we see in nature. This is real volcanic material from um, Taupo volcano. Um, we're interested in real volcanic material because it they bring about variations in the flow that we want to recreate. And so, how does an experiment like this help? ultimately lead to better hazard planning and saving lives? Mm, well, what often we're looking at in nature is the final result. Well, here we start from the other side. We look at the density of that mixture, we look at how much material, the grain size, and we throw it all together, and then we see what comes about. And so we can go from the source conditions to the result in a systematic way. And then we can go back into the, into the field and say, okay, what what we see in the field are these situations and we know the types of source conditions we'd expect for that. And so the information you'll gather from these experiments will help you have a better understanding of, of what's happening and, and how to better inform people? Well we can't go out and do this kind of thing regularly in the, in the field because first of all we don't know quite when the volcano will erupt, secondly once we are there it's way too dangerous to try and do these kinds of close-up studies. So we need to go into this real big scale stuff here that we can get realistic types of behaviours. Are these things going to stay in the channel? Are they going to spill out? So not only do we measure it with cameras and various other things, there's all sorts of sensors that measure the weight of material, the friction, how much air pressure is in there. So all of these things have involved development of sensors and various other tools that we're now also putting into warning systems around the place.